You ready? You ready? everybody welcome back to another exciting episode of Lawrence's Let's Plays today I'm bringing to you how to clear the final stage in chapter 2 on normal hard as well as expert difficulty to my returning viewers thanks so much for your continued support and if you're new to the channel thank you as well for stopping by nothing left to say I'm Lawrence and let's play so let's jump right in here scythe of doom sprays corrosive liquid in the target's direction and deals damage to all enemies in range prioritizing platform units so in this setup, I'm going to use three heroes. I'm using um, Wrath as my tank. I'm using Maidan as a healer to keep Wrath alive. And I'm going to possibly use Theowen. He may not actually be necessary to use. Oh no, big spider. That's a room. Put you right here. I'm going to put you there. I mean, I've actually cleared this with just two heroes my Maidan to heal and my Wrath as my damage dealing tank. But for, for the fact that to make the video go faster, I'll show you like, to support Wrath is a better idea to give him some kind of DPS help. So I'm. Uh, put the one in here to help him out because this takes a while for these spiders to finally summon and then you can take them out and especially if you were stuck with using Rex the free uh, defender type hero that you get as a rare during the story campaign in place of wrath you definitely want to back him up with a you know a decent dps so theowen is one of the um one of like four of the uh, marksmen epic marksmen that they give you for free would certainly work with a rex but you'll see this is very simplistic i won't even need to use theowen's alt but uh keep in mind his alt is fantastic because it creates a huge spinning blade that helps with crowd control to slow the enemies down again not necessary in this fight but and there you go so that's a really easy one to three star clear the stage with the soul core intact so then we're going to go and jump into hard hard is a little bit more tricky um it does provide a little bit more heroes for the setup you're going to see that I'm going to use Wrath as my main tank, uh, fighter, DP, uh, fighter DPS. I'm going to use Theowen and Mari, who you also get as a free mage, uh, epic mage they give you, which is who is also fantastic for crowd control, because she is not only going to slow enemies on her basic, but she's also going to be able to stun enemies on her alt. We're going to use my damn heals, and also I'm going to use Aona. Keep in mind, Aona... Um, it's a little trickier to summon for, but you can get her as a new player in a 499 pack, I believe it is. And I would say to help boost your account in the beginning, it really helps with progression. Aona is a fantastic hero and well worth the $4.99 price tag. So this is a little bit different setup. The first thing I want to do is I want to put Mari here to help slow the enemies that are going to come through that lane. You'll see Queen Tarantula, when she comes up on the screen, uh, yeah, Queen Tarantula will summon small arachnids when her HP is below 70% and 30%. After devouring small arachnids, Queen Tarantula will restore her HP and increase attack. So we don't want that to happen a lot. We're going to do this. Let me think where I want to put him. Hmm. I think we're going to put him right here. Now we want to get a Maidan in here for some hills. Kill that Mari as Mari continues to do the slow. I'm also going to place my Aeona right here. Here 
there's Mari's alt that's causing the slow. I'm gonna go ahead and put. I'm gonna put Tariel here. Her alt's up, so we're gonna go and cast that. It's definitely a little trickier to set up. My friends are always ready. With uh, Tariel's limit with shots, which is a fantastic alt, it gives her unlimited range on the battlefield, so she can hit any enemy no matter where they're at on the battlefield. We're going to cleanse our allies with Maidan. We got the slow effect here with Theowin's alt. We're going to freeze these enemies. Keep in mind, you cannot uh, freeze Araka, but you can freeze uh, her little ad, her little ad spiders. And there you go, three star. And you'll see here in this setup for Expert Chapter Two Eleven, it's a little, little bit trickier to get through this to three star. But we're going to make do. We're going to use Wrath as our uh, Wrath and Salazar. I'm adding an additional fighter. Uh, we're going to use Vortex as our healer because his range is just so much better than just a Maidan. We're going to use Aeona as a mage. I'm also going to use Mari as a mage. Both of them have the ability to slow the enemies. And we're going to use the one as a, another marksman that will help slow the enemies as well. First thing we're going to want to do is we're going to put Mari right here because a lot of the spider ads are going to come from that lane and I don't want my heroes getting overwhelmed. Then we're going to go and put our Wrath right here. Then we're going to drop down our Vortex and see how much further Vortex covers. He's going to cover every single one of those platforms when I put a hero down, as well as my two ground base fighters, or ground base units. And we're going to put our Salazar down here. I want to put an Aeona here because Aeona is going to help to not only hit the boss but help to keep the adds at bay so they don't just keep killing the boss over and over and over and over again which is really annoying I mean some of them are going to get through there's not really much I can do about that and then we're going to do this and we're going to put Thiel in here because he's going to help slow those adds along with Mari at the bottom Mari's all is up so we're going to go ahead and cast that freeze all these enemies Aeona's alt is up as well. It's very slow to activate, but when it does, it's great. You see Salazar's alt is up as well. All we're concerned about at the moment is just simply making sure the ads do not get by us. So we don't want the ads to get by us. So far, so good. There's only four ads remaining. Now, I'm just gonna get ready to focus on the boss. Just beating down the boss. We're gonna go ahead and put a shield up here with our with our vor our vortex because our Iona was looking pretty low on health. We'll just go ahead and proc Salazar's alt now, and it's over. Just like that, Salazar took the boss out by himself with his alt because his alt is incredibly powerful. Keep in mind, my Salazar does not even have. Uh, max skill ups in his alt but i think he's like maybe maybe his uh i put two into his alt skill and he just murders absolutely murders that boss and that's pretty much it guys hope that you found this uh information helpful
if you did enjoy the content please do smash the like button let me know you're enjoying the content uh, leave comments and let me know uh, what you're enjoying about this uh, this game yourself uh, what kind of heroes are you looking forward to me doing hero showcases on as I'll be bringing some more of those to your way as well and with nothing really left to say I'm Lawrence this has been Lawrence's Let's Plays and I am out of here see you soon guys